Well, with the release of Microsoft Office 2007, I thought we'd take a moment to go through all the different flavors. I've got Carlos Aparicio from London Drugs with me. Thanks for coming on. My pleasure, Mike. Anytime. You can also hear uh, Carlos uh, every week on the radio show, the Get Connected radio show as well. And if uh, you go to our website, getconnectedtvshow.com or getconnectedradio.com, uh, you can find uh, all the radio shows posted up there and, and hear all the great answers you give to the listeners uh, that are calling in with the questions. Some interesting questions uh, during the show. And uh, you know what? Some of the questions that are asked are quite informative and uh, apply to a lot of people. Cool. Well, let's talk about Office. Uh, it's just come out and uh, again, uh, as always, they do have a number of different editions. So I just wanted to walk through for the viewers uh, what they're going to be getting. So it basically starts down at uh, the home and student version. Right. There's uh, five main flavors and you do start off at the uh, home student edition uh, and it really is for your basic user. Uh, not for any type of uh, business application. Uh, then you get the standard edition, uh, which would be an entry level business application. Uh, then you get the business office, which uh, has a few more business applications, such as accounting, uh, some entry level accounting. Uh, then you get the professional, and then there's a professional ultimate, which uh, has everything that the first level does and uh, a few more add-ons, especially for the contact management, uh, sales tools that you can use uh, if you're making sales calls on customers and so on. Well, starting at the home and student version, what, what are they essentially getting in there? Or, or, what, or what are they not getting? So they're getting Word, yep. Excel, and PowerPoint. So they're not getting the Outlook? They're not getting the Outlook. Uh, the uh, Outlook, uh, generally the home user uh, is going to use Outlook Express. Uh, or and there's a new Windows Mail that's built into this. Correct. Yep. And so that wouldn't be included in the office. So then going up to the next version, just the standard version, then you start getting all the, uh, the regular programs that you associate, like Outlook, PowerPoint, and all that. Exactly. So beyond the, uh, the, stand, or sorry, the home and student edition, you do get Outlook in the next step up. So that's one step up to standard would give you Outlook. And uh, just for my knowledge here, if someone has a, a previous version, like a student version, uh, like the, the previous version of Office, right. can they upgrade to a higher level of Office? One of the uh, qualifications for student home edition is that it's not upgradable. So okay. uh, whenever you want to get a new edition of student home, uh, it really is not a price difference. Uh, student teacher or student home is quite affordable and uh, the upgrade path really wouldn't impact it because if you wanted to uh, get, let's say, standard upgrade, the cost of standard upgrade versus the cost of a full version of student home is actually cheaper in the student home package. So therefore, you wouldn't want to upgrade the student home. You want to get a full version. Uh, I think probably one of the more popular ones for business is the business version. And from my understanding, you get the business contact manager in there, which is kind of uh, makes Outlook on, on steroids, really. It's kind of like a CRM tied in with Outlook. Right. I, it, what they've done is they've taken some of the database functionality of, let's say, Access and applied it to Outlook. And it really does become, like you said, Outlook on steroids. You're allowed to enter a lot more fields, a lot more information. Uh, for any businesses that are making regular visits to, uh, whether it be a vendor or a sales associate of some sorts, they can enter such innocuous things as made the call, spoke to customer regarding such and such and such, and have alarms that come up and say, need to recontact that person about this and so on and so forth. So it's, it's contacts, but a lot more information under that contact information that allows uh, the user to make use of the database and really uh, a time management tool, which is essential for anyone uh, really making all those calls because God knows we all forget things. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and it also does, uh, the business version comes with publisher as well. So uh, businesses could do some, uh, some pretty good desktop publishing, making business cards, flyers, uh, pretty well anything they can Absolutely. Really think of. Absolutely. Uh, publisher is a great tool. I actually uh, use publisher quite a lot, uh, whether it's to you know, make a, a, a title page for something, send out a Christmas card, birthday cards for the kids for when they're doing their birthday parties. Uh, but on a business level, you know, you can take that to a completely different level. And like you said, business cards, uh, you know, information sheets for customers. Um, as an example, somebody who runs a, a sales business can, you know, show their product, the description of the product, uh, what the product sells for. It's really an integration of, um, you know, digital imaging and word processing at the same time, and it really takes it to the next level. Well, great. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Carlos, Carlos Aparicio from London Drugs. If you want to see the latest office tips, uh, as always, uh, we've got them during the show, and you can also view them up at our website, getconnectedtvshow.com.